Today we're heading to an abandoned water tower, and I'm here with Black Feather. So let's get started now. All right, guys. Today we are in 360, uh, and we're heading to that abandoned water tower. And I forgive me; it's a kind of a nice day. I'm in. Uh, t-shirt but it is a little breezy so the wind noise might be pretty bad as we go through this but um, right now it's kind of calm where I'm at you probably hear the rustling around me but we're being blocked um, but this was a uh, this actually is a water tower that I found uh, wandering through the woods a couple weeks ago and uh, we're heading back there today to take a look at it now this is a 360 video, uh, if you don't know what that means or you're not under, really understanding, if you have the Google goggles, you can put your phone in that and you can actually look around um, and it's like you're being here with me. Otherwise you can either uh, use your finger or take your phone and move it around and uh, you can, you know, it'll actually position it, most of them. Or you can just take your finger and swipe around, you can look at what you want to. Now. I'd be careful with the Google goggles. I am walking with the 360 camera, so uh, you could get you could get motion sickness. Even if you don't typically get motion sickness, uh, with 360 in the in the virtual reality is very very easy for people to get motion sickness. So uh, it's up to you. But um, I kind of like that you can look at whatever you want here, and you have the ability to just either look at me or look at where we're walking or whatever the case may be. Okay, so I'm just going to pause here for a second, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, take this and put it straight up as high as I can, so you can go just kind of take a minute to look around at the scenery. All right, there you go. Uh, just kind of take a look at the scenery surroundings. This is a pretty very, it's a pretty old area. Um, a lot of fallen, broken trees, and uh, it is spring. Nothing's really sprouted out much yet, so uh, no green. You can kind of just see everything through. Um, it makes for interesting. You can actually see um, if you uh, were able to look down over. There's a colored building, which is actually one of the Crayola crayon. Uh, I think it's the research building. But a lot of fallen trees and stuff. I mean, this is really just untouched wilderness. And if you look in front of me, you'll uh, see we're coming up on the abandoned water tower. The path we're on is actually, there's a lot of uh, BMX bike tire paths there. Um, so it's a, obviously somebody made a path through the woods at some point and it looks like kids are still on it. Here we are at the old water tower. I'm not really sure where this tower goes to. There's actually uh, probably two uh, facilities it could have been, or it could have just been a, a city tower that, you know, was just whatever. Um, but you just kind of look at it, everything's just deteriorating. There's that wind I was talking about. I'm going to bring the light closer, hoping that it doesn't, uh, the camera closer, hoping that it doesn't get too bad for you. It 
look up to the top there, there's an old light fixture. I'm going to try and get you to look at the, the, the outlet there. Again, I apologize for the wind. Um, they, uh, even look here, we have a, a water shutoff right underneath us. Wonder if it's now it's tight, but yeah, I mean you got to feed the water tower somehow. Basically, water towers are a reserve uh, in case you're using a lot of oil. Old manhole cover here. Pretty interesting. You need to see what's in there. I don't have anything to get it open though. Just looking at the ground, see if there's anything else we can find. We're going to try and utilize that and get up in there. See if I can get up in there. Something over there. I don't see anything missing off the bottom. I wonder if it goes up top, came from the top somewhere. The only thing is, it doesn't look like any of these things broke off. Uh, it's too heavy, it's got too much in it. I can't, can't flip it over. Let me see if I can get it from this side. From over here. Oh, you gotta go that way. Hold that a second. Yeah. That's definitely from the top. So, but it looks like it was taken off, not broken off. Well, at least there'll be less mosquitoes this year. All right, we're gonna, gonna get back around the other that ladder. We're going to see if I can get up there and see what's up on top. So I'll be back in a sec. Here we go. Ouch. Made it to level one. Uh, <laughs> all right, second level should be a lot easier.
Alright, so I'm at the top. Honestly, I thought it'd be flat. Okay, so there's the missing top. Came right off the top there. I really don't want to go up there though. There's no railing around here. I'm just gonna put it up here. We should be able to see what's in there. And get a nice view of what's around. can't hear me but we're at the top here. Uh, we're gonna head back down now. Interesting but I don't want to hang up here too long. Alright so I'll see you down the bottom. All right, so made it back down to that first landing. We're gonna go down. I gotta figure out how to get down off the bottom. That should be an interesting feat, but um, we're almost there. All right, social adventurers. That was rough coming off of there. I don't advise you try doing stuff like that. If you are, make sure you have the upper body strength to be able to pull yourself up and down from that. Uh, it's here a couple weeks ago. I did try to get up there, but um, just didn't have the strength at the time to pull myself up, and I was alone, so I didn't want to do that. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video of the abandoned Warner Tower. Uh, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. I'm going to put some... I'm going to put a, uh, a link over here to, uh, or actually, I can't do it on 360. It'll be down in the description to a playlist of the abandoned structures that I've been at. And we'll see you next time.